All right, it's been a minute. I had some college, but passed all the classes this semester working at the computer science degree. <laughs> Finally going for that because it's 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 fun. So <clears throat> right, uh with assembly it's really hard to visualize <laughs> a lot of things that we're trying to do. So I'm going to stop digressing and we'll get into this. So we want to do printing characters and the mauve instruction which stands for moving. Uh all right. So in higher level languages, I'm assuming most of you know higher level languages. Uh I'll just I'll just put this bootloader down a bit. So ignore that for a second. So in high, in a higher level language, you would like, you know, you make a variable like foo or I don't know, foo equals 5. And you're assigning 5 to foo so that you know the next time you use foo, it's going to have the value of 5. Well, assembly MOV instructions work very similar to that. It's not exactly the same, but you know, it's the same functionality. So like if I were to type MOV AX comma 5, uh, that would be the same thing as saying AX equals 5. And we're taking the immediate value of 5, which is a literal value, and then moving it into AX. And if we were doing, you know, register to register movement. Let's say if we uh, mov AX CX, so we're putting CX into AX, uh, it would be the same as saying AX equals CX. And it works the same way as assignments. You know, uh, if we said, you know, AX equals five or uh, CX equals seven, you know, when we say AX equals CX, we are moving, uh, moving, moving the value of CX into AX, which would be seven. So, you know, mov AX CX would be seven in this case. And I'll go ahead and translate these into assembly right now. So you can see, you can see a lot of similarities between, you know, this low level assembly and higher level interpreted or compiled languages. All right, so on this left side, we have the interrupt instruction using the value of 10h, 0x10, or 16 in decimal. Uh, interrupts actually deserve their own video, along with the flags register. I know I didn't include that on my last video, but these, <laughs> a lot of these things need their own video. But uh, really what we're gonna be looking at for this interrupt is the teletype output and AH equals zero EH, which we're gonna be using the MOV instruction to move values into registers, and then we call the interrupt instruction. Yeah, we, we use the interrupt instruction to, you know, call the BIOS, so, yeah, there it is, call the BIOS, and it'll take care of printing stuff on the screen. So I'm gonna go over to these uh, assembly code, and I'm gonna start under start, and we're going to do mov ah, so that's the, the higher half of the ax register. And we're going to move 0x, 0e into it. Now al is going to be the register that stores the ASCII value of the character that we want to print. So I'm assuming most of you are familiar with ASCII values. Uh, in assembly, you can actually, you know, use single quotes to represent characters or strings. Uh, so we can type mov al comma, and I'll just put e in single quotes. Now you can't put more than one character because because al is one byte in length, e is one byte in length. If I put two characters, that means it is two bytes in length, which doesn't work with assembly. Uh, each of the operands, and the operand being AL and E, uh, have to be the same byte size. Then we'll go ahead and use our int 0x10 or uh, 10h, whichever syntax you prefer. I like using 0x. And if we actually don't want this jump start, I'm going to leave that in there for just a second. And I'm going to go ahead and run this. Okay, 
So <laughs> we're we're printing E, but it's there's a lot of E. E. Why? Well, let's go back and look at our code. We have the start label. Then we have a Marvin R ends. This jump start. Oof. Jump start. This is like a while loop. You know, without, you know, a while loop that never terminates. You know, uh, we're jumping back to start and we're printing and we're jumping back to start and we're printing. And it's just going to do that forever. Um, it's not a stack overflow because the processor is actually doing it. Uh, we aren't even using the stack right now. <laughs> so we can fix this by making another label and then jumping to that label instead. So after these mobs and ints, I'll just put a halt. I'll just name it a halt and then I'll put jump halt. And that should fix our issue. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble that again. And we have all that BIOS garbage and you can see E is printing. So, yeah, uh, experiment with this, you know, have fun with the mob instruction and all of these uh, different supported functions for interrupt 0x10. I don't know how many of these C BIOS interrupts. That's the BIOS for Kimu. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to try and make these videos as short and simple as possible because this this topic is so like there's so much information at once that you have to grasp and there's so much information that takes a lot of time in videos to create it so i hope you guys are learning something and i hope you're having fun i'll see you in the next video